Hello, hello, hello everybody, I am J-Malls of J-Malls Gaming, and here today, Dawn Trail is out. Viper has been released from the grass. Pictomancers are no longer starving artists, we are here in Dawn Trail. And you know it's an expansion where two DPS are released when you have a 58 minute queue for a dungeon. Let's get into it. Okay, so, I decided, in my infinite wisdom, right, I wanted to play the Dawn Trail MSQ as Viper. So, I got to work. I picked up Viper. Really cool, We're gonna get into that in a minute. And I gotta say, I've been really enjoying Viper as a job overall. It's really simplistic, and if you're somebody who really loves a complex job to really sink your teeth into, and get real nerdy about what your rotation should be and all that, Viper's probably not gonna be for you. I mean, it lights itself up as to what you should press next. But there's a few aspects to Viper that I really enjoyed from Reaper's design that is carried over into Viper. That's not to say that it feels like Reaper, because in my opinion, it doesn't. What I really like about Viper is that it's a simple job, but to make up for its lack of complexity, it has speed, rapidity, and making moment-to-moment -moment choices that matter in the short term. I really enjoy that kind of stuff. I like a fast job. Viper's a fast job. I like a job that feels good when I press my buttons, and Viper, with great sound design and just animations overall, and I think it also has a good flow to its rhythm and pacing, feels good to press my buttons. It feels good to look at. It sounds good to listen to. I really enjoy Viper so far. And I'm only level 86. I know the job's gonna get even better down the line. But I think one of the most underrated aspects of Viper that I've seen so far, that I've personally experienced, Experienced, is also a component that I think will not be talked about as much as it should be, and that is the level 80 Viper job quest. And you may be asking, j well, what's so special about it? You see, well, they did this thing where you partook in this solo instance where the guy that teaches you about Viper shows you the ropes and guides you down this slaying of monsters, and it teaches you, okay, these are your combos. Before you progress, make sure you know how to play this job. It's really simple, right? But simplicity, I tend to find, can go a real long way. And especially in a game like an MMORPG, teaching the player base how to play the game is really important because it impacts other people and other people in, you know, their queues, their dungeons, their raids, their trials, whatever. So if the game can do a good job teaching the player base how to play these jobs, then people overall, theoretically, should also play better. Viper can be a job that can feel like a lot at once. Because you're pairing this with the new combo action buttons with Dawn Trail, where instead of doing one, two, three, now it's just one, 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 and that one button changes to the new part of the combo. Viper's built around this idea on principle, where you have one and two, and you get to the various endings of the combo with different patterns. One, two, one, 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 two, 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 one, two, two, one, one, two, 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 stuff like that. So what that job quest does is say, okay, slow down, you're gonna get all of these various endings of these combos, make sure you know how to get them, and how to actually, you know, do these combos. Again, it's really simple, if you're a player of decent skill or way better than that, you probably won't think about it too much. But I just think it's something that's worth pointing out. Hey, it's me after the fact because my dungeon queue popped and I actually managed to learn how to play the job, so, you know, aces. But, there's a tip I want to mention for you all out there because I don't think it's too obvious when it comes to Viper, and that is how to determine, without just hovering over the tooltip, if you should hit an enemy from the back or the flank. So, I have the 1-1-1 one, one, one and the 2-2-2 two, two, two combos bound here. Steel Fangs are my 1, Dread Fangs are my 2. So from here on out, I'm gonna refer to 1 and 2, respectively. The first one is whatever. It's the second part of whatever combo you're in that matters. If you go 1 on your second combo, then it's the flank for both of these. However, if I do 1 and I go 2, so if I do two with, as a second part of the combo there, now it's the hind attack. I have to hit him from the back. Back shots for days. This applies even if you start with two. It only matters with that second input. So if I do two, one, because I do two, one, and that second input is one, it's a flank maneuver. But if I do two and then the second one is two, it's a hind maneuver because the second input was two. So yeah, that was my one big question mark when it came to this job, was determining without having to hover over the tooltip 
what the positional was. So there you go, hope that helps. Now granted, the job still start at level 80, so you know, long, long queues for roulette, doing challenge log, and God, Zadnor, oh God, enough to break a man. However, I still have that singular goal and purpose, get to level 90. I get to level 90, we're gravy. It's golden, we're going to Terrell, we're having a blast. I'm g I know I'm going to enjoy that. Just gotta get there. It's just a bit of a grind getting there. And I think that's not helped by the fact that they decided to release two DPS jobs in one expansion. They both look really cool. I'm just saying, I'm in this queue for over 64 minutes. I may be going delirious. And no, that's not a Reaper thing. I'm not joking. I had the idea that what if for like the first two weeks of an expansion launch, they just made it so that the new jobs could just queue in as healer or tank. You may be going, j that makes no sense, right? Because they don't have the tools in their kit. Well, what if... You just made it so these abilities do splash healing or something. Or if you QS tank, get a bunch of aggro and take a lot less damage. Look, 65 minutes in this queue and counting. This is enough to break a man. I'm willing to go to extremes here. Now, that's mostly, mostly, I might add, in jest. Mostly, not entirely. It's one of my favorite parts of an expansion launch is just seeing everybody playing the game. I was doing Fates over in Thavnir, and oh my god. The hope that God of Hitting Some them is actually insane, and it's great. Can I tell you if I am? No, I couldn't. Low RPG is but I got like rewards anyway, so screw it. Space in this world with so many other people. It's an aspect of MMO RPGs that is truly special to me. And the graphical overhaul. Look, I know this video is mostly about Viper, but oh my god, does my character look pretty nice. I like him. I like him a lot. I thought the base gear they gave you for Viper looked ugly, so I decided, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go with the Bloodborne set they gave you at the end of Shadowbringers. Because that set looks awesome. Yeah? I look like the Hunter from Bloodborne. I love it. I love it so much. And the new texture work alongside the lighting. Ooh, it looks pretty. It looks so pretty. I don't think the new graphical overhaul, if you want to call it that, is going to move the needle for anybody. If you already liked how Final Fantasy XIV looked, I imagine you're going to continue to like how it looks. And if you didn't like how it looks, I imagine you're not going to be overly impressed. Having said that, I don't think that's the only barometer for success in terms of this graphical overhaul. I like it. I think it makes the game look better while still maintaining the game's artistic styling. Maybe asking j why you yapping about this in a video about Viper. Well, I'm also a firm advocate that I don't think what makes a job is only the gameplay. Play. How it feels and how it looks matters. Yeah? It's an RPG at the end of the day. You want to enjoy the role you are playing. And just staring at my character is now more enjoyable because things look better. I like the shine on the swords. I like the shadows on my character overall. I like the texture work in my armor set. It makes me look better, which makes me feel better, which also helps me like playing Viper even more. It may sound really basic because it is, but I do think these little things add up in terms of importance. So you combine the fact that I really enjoy the job so far mechanically now, it may get old down the line because of how simple it is, which will cross that bridge when we get to it, but it's Final Fantasy XIV, if I want to play something else, I can just swap over to another job. Like, that's one of the joys of this game. It lets you do that. But I've been really enjoying playing Viper mechanically, and now I'm also really enjoying looking at Viper. I'm really enjoying just seeing my character be Viper. And the animations and sound design, oh my god, it's crispy. I love it so much. It looks good feels good to play, and sounds amazing. I'm also a bit of a fan of the actual lore behind the job, and how they, like, wove in the Viper theme, to where if you're holding the sword with two hands, it's like the fangs. If you do the twin blade, you're, like, slithering like a snake. I like that. It's a little bit of RP that I think makes the job feel unique and, well, valuable. It doesn't just feel like a job that exists because two swords are cool, which, I mean, it's all I needed, but I like the added little seasoning on top of it. And the server, like, stability has has been amazing. I haven't had any cues, but there's been quite a few people that I've seen in game. The game looks pretty. It still looks like Final Fantasy XIV, which is what I think they were supposed to nail, and I think they did. Overall, the launch is getting two thumbs up for me, and I'm really enjoying Viper. So with that, I think I'll call the video there for the day. I'm gonna go back to grinding up Viper and hopefully getting into level 90 soon. Yeah? Ideally. Maybe this queue pops. Maybe I just have to go back to Zadnor and suffer through that. In which case, I'll do it on stream because you're all suffering with me. <laughs> but with that, I'll call the video there for the day. Thank you all for tuning in. My pleasure for making the video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe. And comment down below with what you are playing. Are you playing a different job? Are you playing Viper or Pick the Mansa? Let me know how you like it, how you feel about it. Love to hear your thoughts and hear your opinions. Stay safe. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, everybody. Best of luck in Dawn Trail. Until we meet again.